Hey guys, welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Um, we're going to check out Fortress Craft Evolved. Um, I've put a couple hours into this game. Um, really, really like it and thought I would do a Let's Play on it. It's a, it's a little bit different, um, but a little bit of the same. It's kind of a combination of everything that I've been doing. Um, games that I like to play and whatnot. So... Um, I thought I would let you guys check it out. I think I think you guys really need to give it a try. It's a really good game. Um, I think that you'll you'll like it. Um, I am doing the development build. Um, they call it Bleeding Edge. Um, so I don't know. Hopefully, I'm I'm really awful at backing things up. So hopefully, I don't crash and burn. But we are playing the latest. Um, so. I skipped over the cinematics. Um, I figure you guys can look at that um, on your own when you get into the game, but it's pretty cool. Um, and it basically shows how you got on this planet. You're a lone survivor, and we're out here, and it's very, very cold. We have a power suit, and that's about it. And this, this thing here. So we're at the tutorial. Um, when I first played it, I was total noob. I didn't have a clue. I'm going, well, where's the tutorial? What am I supposed to do? Um, at the very top, it says, look at the CPH and press E. Okay, well, I don't know what that is. So I'm here and I'm pressing E, right? Because it says at the top, look at the CPH and press E. So I'm doing it. What do I do now? I don't know what to do. I'll, I'll take power, but there's nothing to take. Um, I could add power, but I don't know. I was confused. Then I realized that there's actually a big sign right here. Press E, then add resources. This to make the CPH to this CPH to make power. So E, and we go add power, or <laughs> add resources, and it'll give it um, a block of coal. Okay, and then we could exit. So um, we did start with a couple things: some extractors, some lights, and some coal. Very cool. So next it says charge your suit from the PSB. So right here, it's a power storage block. So we can power our suit here, press Q, and it powers up our suit. So this is a battery. It's getting energy from this, and I always forget the name, the CPH, and it puts it in there. Okay, now it says power up the ore extractor. This is an ore extractor. It's currently extracting coal. Um, it says it's out of power. So if you read the sign, press E, then add power. So we look at it, E, add power. Let's load it up. If you notice, I'm transferring power from the suit over to it. So we now have to charge back up. If we don't charge up, we freeze to death. So we really need to make sure um, this, this doesn't have any coal, right? Or maybe no, it is. It's still burning. So it's got some more coal in there but now if you see this is load it's getting some charcoal or getting some coal and if you look it's putting into this storage hopper press Q to remove coal from this storage hopper so right now it says there's 71 free slots um, I think this thing holds a hundred so now there's see there's 30 coal in there now there's 37 coal let's go Q and it says it's empty now and we have 41 because we had some already in there four I think so good, good. We got. That's how we get stuff out of the hoppers. We can also press Q on this. If it had anything, it would give us, um, give us um, whatever it had in there. Now we need to use the RMB to scan something. So this is the RMB. In order to get to the RMB, um, you need to press M. It automatically pulled it up for us here but we are going to do that. So it says to scan something. Right mouse button, RMB to scan. Use right mouse button to scan. Oh, so I guess it's not called the RMB. Hmm. It's the OR scanner. Well, that's what it is, the OR scanner. So we're going to right mouse click that. It's going to take some power from us, and it scans. So now it says research your new scan, and hey, who's that? That is Arthur. He's our helper. Let's come over here, press E to open research station, and process. So here, E, we have an unknown material. We're going to process that. It tells us it's snow, and it gave us one research point. Cool, cool. 
All right. The next step is it gave us also um, a couple of things. We don't know what they are, but press E to open, then craft. So this is our crafting area. So if we come in here, these are the things that we could craft. We know how to craft. We just don't have the resources to craft them. It's asking us specifically right now to create the Arthur Power Core. So we'll do that. They gave, must have given us two copper bars. We're going to craft it. And boom, now Arthur gets to fly around. Um, this is the help. To get to the help, you press H. If you notice, the force field is gone. And we are now into real game mode. Um, let's just look. Snow, a mixture of dirt and snow, which appears to be ambiguous on this world. Ambiguous? Is that the right way to pronounce that? It does seem there's a lot of snow and dirt. Oh, what's that? That's our spider guy. He's supposed to help us. We'll see. I've never gotten to the point where we get attacked. I have played about six hours in on another world and haven't got to the point where I was attacked, but I think I was getting close. All right, so after we completed the tutorial, they gave us a couple conveyor belts. This is our main mode of transportation as far as moving, of automating stuff. Oh, and here's Arthur's thing. We just, as long as we keep it on our inventory, we're good. And we have a hopper. This is where we, this is like our chest. So let's look at this. They highlighted some stuff for us. So let's go ahead and put down a hopper here. You left click to place an item when you're in the build mode. And if you right click, it very quickly tears apart stuff. So just remember that. Um, and then, so we put the hopper down and now let's put these. And if they actually flow away from you, so you want to have go like this. Um, if I were to go like that, see it's going the wrong direction, you could press R and it will spin it. So there we go. So now we've automated this production. So this is making or pulling the coal, putting it in a hopper. The hopper is, or the conveyor belts are taking it out and putting it into um, this hopper over here. And then the C something or other, the CPH takes it and makes power. Without power, we freeze. So we have to make sure we have power. So that's it for the tutorial. That's the first thing you got to do. It helps you get you going. Um, it makes it, it, it's, there's no way around it. You got to do it. So the next step that I like to do that I, is you need to be able to research things. Um, my favorite part of the game, you need research points. You can choose which path you want to go on. These are some projects you get to do, but you need points in order to do it. If you want to know about local life forms, anthropology, osteology, what's this? This is new. Um, so we can, I guess, get animal parts if we kill stuff. Basic mining upgrades, power, aesthetics. Um, probably won't get into aesthetics because I'm an awful builder, as you guys know. But this is how we get research points. So remember that thing that we used to scan before? If you go M, it brings it up, and we could scan things. So let's try to scan that. So right mouse button to scan. Boom, we scan it. There's a tree way over there. We could scan it. Look at how far we could scan. Very cool. There's leaves. We haven't scanned leaves yet. Scan them. Everything you can scan. I don't know what this is, but I think it's an unknown block, so we're going to scan it. Um, I don't think we got that plant. Scan it. We cannot scan those guys for some reason. Can we scan that thing way up there? Ah, oh, that's snow. That's not locking on. Let's see, can I zoom? Z zooms you in. Oh, it feels like I was gonna fall right there. Okay. Um, 
that right. So we did. It did give us. That was kind of freaking out on us for a second. Let's. Do we get this one? So again, you want to scan everything that's new. Um, and then, if we go back into, let's look over here real quick and see if there's anything. Uh, I think that's about it. So now if we come over back over to this thing and press E, these are all the things we just scanned. And notice, these are the points you're going to get for it. And um, sometimes I... Does it open up? It might open up a recipe or something. Maybe it doesn't. I think you have to use the points. So we're going to do that. Boom. Um, so there are there's a lot of things we have to scan. We have to get a lot of points, right? So we have to keep keep looking. Um, but I think that's all we can really get on the surface at this time. The next step. And again, like I said, I, I didn't actually say this. Um, let me let me talk a little bit about what I'm going to be doing in this Let's Play. Um, this Let's Play is... I dig this game. You know, I've only played it for about six hours. But I thought, what I... Because I got to a certain point, I said, hey, I'm going to make a Let's Play on this. I think we need to get more people into this community. They're coming out with a multiplayer. It would be very, very slick to get in here and do the things you can do with this game in multiplayer. So I thought I'd do a, a, a Let's Play on it. I only know up to about six hours into the game. So I'll do the best I can to help guide through to that point. And once we get to that point, then we'll be learning or adventuring together, hopefully. So I'm kind of doing this as a tutorial. I left the um, defaults on, so if I die, I don't lose anything. You can change that, but I'm because this is the first run through, I thought I'd leave it. So I will probably, in the first several episodes, like this one, Really nothing. I mean, we're, we're kind of doing this. I'm showing you the basics. We won't do much this episode. Next episode, I'm guessing we're going to find some ore and start working on that. And then we'll work on automation and things like that. So I'm going to take it into short chunks, probably half an hour videos. Um, first several, I'll probably have one a day, maybe a couple a day. And then it'll probably move on to one a week or two a week or something like that. And then eventually you get to the point where, you know, it's, there's a lot of prep work and stuff, so it takes a little bit more time. So we'll try to get one every other week or whatnot. But I'll try to get them one a week. Um, I'm not going to abandon my other Let's Plays, um, but I just needed a little break from that and, you know, something refreshing, and I really do like this game. So anyway, there's my spiel. Blah. Move on. So let's go through this. X, build. With, the, with this we can place blocks with the left mouse and we could blow up a block um, with the right mouse. Um, it is a very quick, as quick as you can press the right mouse is as quick as it will blow through things. It's a very quick. Um, same thing like with leaves and stuff. Boom, 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 right? It just, it just cuts through things. Alright. Um, so that is the X. Let me get some power. If we don't have power, we freeze. So make sure we have power. Arthur will help you, but he only recharges in the sun, so right now he has nothing for us. Um, why do I have a question mark? Let's go look. Uh, I do. Uh, some dirt. Very cool. Hold on, I have to cough. Sorry about that. So, we got dirt. That means more points. Um, let's look at our next step. I don't want that there. Um, if you don't want these here, you just right-click them. Um, I usually will keep a stone there just because that's what we're going to place. Um, okay, so our next step is we need to figure out, we need to start building stuff. You know, if we look at the crafter, these are all the things we can do, right? We can build stuff, but we need 
bits and pieces. Um, you know, hoppers and stuff to store. Well, we what do we have to store? Dirt? We don't want to store dirt. What we need to do is we need to find some tin and copper bars or our ores. So with the ore scanner, if you look over here, if I move the mouse, ping unknown, ping error, ping known ore. We don't know any ore right now, so let's ping unknown. So we're going to left mouse button, hold it down, it does a scan thing, and then you'll see things show up in these purple little things. So that's unknown stuff. There's a big one over here, so let's go check that out. Very big. What could you be? Um, so X, and then right click, we'll go through. Right, it's right here. So let's, if you notice the tab, it switched tabs on me, but we're going to put a light right here. So what do we have? Let's go M, and we will the right mouse button. It's going to do that. And let's go back. Another little thing that's cool, there's a grappling hook. If you press F, it's cool. Uh, but I'm too, I'm not, I don't, there's not a, um, a big enough thing for me to, to leap over so it's not effective at, it's more effective when you're in caves and stuff like that. Um, trust me, very, very cool thing. So let's get some power. And let's see what we found. A no material, process it, tin ore. Very, very cool. And what is this? Rubble. Not so cool. Rubble is basically what you do when you, or what you have when you um, try to mine or dig through um, some kind of ore. So let's, let we, now that we know what this is, let's right click it. And we'll, that means we'll scan it and it'll tell us how much we have. So there's 189,000 um, pieces in there. The only problem is the extractors that we have can only do about 10% of that. So since there's 189,000, we're gonna get about 18, 19,000 ores out of this. Um, another thing that we'll see when we go over there to smelt is you need four ore to make one bar. So now you cut that in half again. So yeah, we're getting less than 5,000 bars, right? Something like that. But right now we're here. It's really cool to get this set up. Um, all we need, let's go into build mode. We need to put an extractor down. Put an extractor, you can put it up here, you can put it down here, anywhere, as long as it's touching that, right? So now see how it's pointing at that? It just doesn't have any power. So in order to get power, we just go E and it will start mining. And see how it says 10% efficiency, eight ore in a minute, and that's how much power it's taking per second. So what is that? One, 40 times eight, no, times six, 24. So 240 power a minute, is that right? Um, that's not that can't be right. Oh points move the decimal points over a couple. So we're not using losing that much when it's um, When it's given us the thing so we're losing God, I can't even do math someday someday. I'll use my math skills. I was an engineering major very very good stuff But you can do the math 0.4 times 60 240, 24, 24, is that right? About, so let's take that out. You could press Q also to get that out and all that good stuff. But since we're running out of power, we're gonna run back here. I'm gonna have to build a um, little place to go, I like a stair thing to go up there. I'll grab some more power. I'll show you the smelter. So here's the smelter. Um, press E to open it up. We can just drag the ore in there and it needs to heat up. 
so it, it's got to get up to over a thousand degrees so it's using energy and it's heating up and then it will start to make these bars um, so when we get things going we want to have this running so we don't have this downtime um, but right now it's going we have some Tim going it's getting a light out that means Arthur is going to be able to help us out quite a bit and since we've we're building something over here I want to make sure I have all my stuff near each other I mean that's ideal if you can get um, multiple ores near each other awesome so let's ping unknown again so we're gonna do left there boom what do we get nothing something right there so let's try to go down X this is pretty far down I think we're getting close I bet you it was like rock or something. Uh, let's get a light up. And boom. And let's get out of here. Uh, let's go. Oh, let's go over here. Make sure he's powered up. Since it's laid out, we can give him everything and just make sure we get over there quickly. Um, Arthur will help us out because he has some power. And he tends to give us stuff. Let's do this. E... Where's my tin? Uh, derp that. So, unknown material is going to be rock. Yeah, thanks. Um, let's do something like this. So we can just walk up. You don't have to jump. It just automatically runs you up there. I thought I grabbed that stuff. So if I go E, I thought I, oh I did grab it, it's in here. How come it wouldn't let me get it out? Okay, so let's try that scanner again. M, and we're going to ping unknown. Let's go, man, I find us something. So there's something here, right? We all see that? All right, so let's go down, X. So we found something else that isn't going to help us, huh? Nice. Another light. We'll just put a light here. So, F. So, in the beginning, you're going to spend a lot of time looking and not finding. At least on this planet, I've had... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I had a lot of success on on another world and power that I was playing and I found stuff pretty quickly so I think I picked all that stuff up yeah okay you have to wait a, a second I guess that's what I did last time I didn't wait long enough so we'll come over here charge up and let's see what I found unknown material 
process bedrock great so again nothing so since we didn't find anything over there let's go look let's just look here so M and this is really you just have to scan and really what you want to do is find a place that's going to just hook you up so ping unknown uh, what did I do left click there's a little one there this is just a really awful spawn there's that little one over there. Uh, really nothing, huh? So this is going to be a pretty difficult one, I think. But let's go ahead. X. like it's right there right so let's do this I'm gonna put a light right here and then we're going to go straight down M again, ping unknown, okay, so there's something here and there, but we don't know, they could be the same, right, so X, oops, right click, right click, okay, so I found something there, could be something that we already have found, right, and we want to place a black back, So M, oh, we don't know what this is, so let's scan it. Right mouse button. This looks like copper to me, so we do need some copper, so that's cool. Um, let's go back up. There is something, so right down there, so from this copper straight down. Let's try to remember that. Oh, there's something over there. Okay. Let's get out of here. So, E, boom, boom, copper, very good. Copper, in my opinion, is the most important early game thing. Now, one of the th issues we're going to have is if we go E, see how it's full, so we can Q, and then it'll be fine. We can do this from a long distance, so that's very cool we need to automate bringing that over and we will do that hopefully in the next episode um, I'm going to come back over here and what I'm going to do in um, between episodes I'm gonna end this episode here we found iron or not iron we found tin and we found some oh, let's do this some um, some tin and some copper so what we need in order to start building some stuff tin we need iron so it looks like the base the first tier of materials tin iron copper we found two of them I think there's another one actually let's um actually before we go let's look at some projects um, there's mining upgrades and then there's suit upgrades. I want to research suit upgrades because I like to keep myself alive. So I'm going to start with that. Um, basic mining and power, these other ones are ones we should also research. But I'm going to start with this just to show you kind of what comes up. With the suit upgrades, see how it opened up some more projects? Um, one of the things here is improved ore scanning. I am also going to research that. Um, and
And so we did that. Let's come over here. And I'll show you why I did that. Um, with the research, where is it? Oh, we can make these blank or pings, right? These, it, it generates an or ping without power cost. And if you combine it with a specific ore, you can find that ore. So if I wanted to go find more copper or tin or whatever, we could find it. So it helps make things specific. The problem is we need some things that we can't make yet. Um, but what I wanted to show you, one of the things that, um, where is it? Did I not look? Hold on. Hold on. Recipes. Oh, suit power pack. This right here doubles your suit's power. Only um, one required and must be carried. So I want that. Um, so let's research that. And suit power pack. We need copper, tin, iron, and lithium. A lot of lithium. We haven't found lithium yet or iron so tomorrow or in the next episode I'm hoping let's give it some more power um, we'll be able to find some iron and some lithium and we will be able to get some stuff up and running so with that being said I'm going to end the episode here between episodes I'm going to set up that copper um, thing just like we did over there. I'm not going to do anything different. I'm just going to set up that. I'm going to um, maybe mine out uh, the tunnel a little bit. Um, I might fill in my gap over there so I don't fall. But I'll mine out that tunnel so it looks a little bit better. And um, the next episode um, we will go hunting for iron and lithium and try to see what we could do about maybe having that stuff come this direction but it just depends on if we can find some iron or not. So anyway, thank you very much for watching this. Again, I'm going to take this a little bit slow. Um, so if you're more advanced, I'm, I'm sorry, but if you just want to see a playthrough and kind of learn as we go, we're going to do this together. If you have any tips or tricks, let me know. Um, not too many spoilers, please, but if you have something that I'm doing that I could do easier, you know, I know we could control and click on that, but, um, you know, little things. Sometimes I like even shooting the gun. Oh, I, I'm going to tell you, V brings out a laser. And with a laser, and this, I tried this, I was, I, I'm not good at shooting things. We can kill that guy, so. And he just messes me up. Got him. So if you right click, it shoots. And if you let right click and hold, it charges it up. But I'm not good. I can't, I guess you shoot and move like that, right? I don't know. But what did he drop? Did he drop anything? I'm not sure. Anyway, that's V to get to that. So V, X, and M. So um, resume. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next episode. Goodbye.